I agree with the judge that I thought charges should have been filed, some charges. Well, a lot of frustration from the family of a woman who was shot dead in October. Prosecutors dropping all the charges against the shooter. It all started with a dispute between neighbors at a Lone Tree apartment complex, but it ended with a 24-year-old shot in the face and killed. As 9 News reporter Nelson Garcia shows us, prosecutors felt they didn't have a strong enough case to win, so they let the man go even though they admit that, yeah, he committed a crime. For the victim's family, court is where they look for justice. We don't see cases like this very often. But District Attorney George Brockler says when Kelly Jo Keese was shot in the face and killed, the situation in this Lone Tree apartment complex on October 18 was not that simple. Were there other alternative decisions that everybody associated with this case could have made that would have resulted in no bullets being fired and no lives being lost? Absolutely. Investigators say Justin Cheney was Keyes' neighbor who noticed that a man she used to date snuck in the building behind him. When he confronted him, police say the man struck Cheney in the face and that's when Cheney pulled a gun on him. When Keyes saw that, investigators say she got her own gun and put the gun directly into uh, Mr. Cheney's face. Deputies say Keyes lowered her gun, and that's when she was shot. Cheney claims self-defense. Chief Deputy District Attorney Gary Dawson agrees. Well, to be clear, it's a crime, but he has a, in essence, we've determined a complete defense to that crime. In court, the charges were dropped to the dismay of Mike Keyes. As a father, it's very tough to go through and, and to lose your daughter, especially at 24 years old and especially the way that she died. What, what do you tell someone whose daughter was shot and killed? And I'm here to tell you that having looked at what I have in this case, uh, I don't know that she did anything wrong. Now a father has lost one of his three daughters. She really was the person that she wanted to fight for the underdog. Now he has questions with no answers. I voted for George Brockler more than once. But if that's the kind of man that only wants to take a case when it's 100% slam dunk. But this one, under the laws that we have in the state of Colorado, is one that I did not feel we could rightfully and successfully prosecute. Cheney goes home a free man. Mike Keyes goes home without the one thing he was looking for. There's no justice here. In Castle Rock, Nelson Garcia, 9 News.